Hello YouTube family and friends. Today I'm going to be cooking some beef and broccoli and this is what I want to try. This is new and it's beef and broccoli sauce. Sauce for beef, beef and broccoli. So I'm going to be trying that today and I got my broccoli, my beef and my bell peppers that I'm going to be using this time and I got my two different kinds of noodles that I like this one and this is for my kids. This one is rice, and this one is the uh, like the noodle eggs. It's like that. So the first thing I'm gonna do to get started is I'm gonna add a little vegetable oil off of my pan. It be good pork. <laughs> <laughs> and turn it on because I'm gonna cook my meat. First, I'm gonna give it a seasoning. I'm gonna season it, and I'm just using garlic powder. And season of salt. And just a brand new season of salt. Oh, you're not Miley, come down. Oh, you little fishies. No, you fishies. I'm just going to stir my meat around. And what I did with my meat, it was whole, so I just took a knife and I just cut it into like slices like this. I thought you was going to say I took the knife and banged it. <laughs> Bang it. You so weird. <laughs> I thought you were going to say that. Okay, I'm going to see is my... No, it's not ready, so I'm just going to wait until it get ready. And I'm going to cook... Matter of fact, I'm gonna cut my vegetables first. Oh, it is ready. That's what I want to cook. Yeah, that one meat sticks out. Does that turn up all the way? Okay, got turned up. Wait, you know what I noticed? What? Every time you cook, often was it? Oh, oh, I'm gonna start adding my meat, and I'm just gonna add it. Okay, here, because I want to make sure all of it get done. So I'm going to kind of break them apart. I'm going to add some and then move it around and then add some more. And then move it around. You get, you get what I'm trying to say. Because sometimes when the meat is stuck like this, it, some of them don't like get cooked. I'm not going to steal my broccoli because I like my broccoli the way it is. I like it fresh. I don't like the soggy. I'm going to put some on my in here to make it soggy and then the rest is going to be like fresh. If that makes any sense. And this is the reason why I always cook in, I'm always cooking big like this because my family likes to eat. You know, they love to eat. That's one of their specialties is eating. So that's the reason why I'm always cooking so much food. You notice I'm never cooking less food. I'm always cooking a lot. Now that you're cooking for yourself. But I normally don't make a video for myself. Yeah, because we end up eating it. <laughs> I like when I make a breakfast just for me and daddy is small. Well, it's still kind of big. It's still kind of big. I don't know how to cook small no more. There is well, no I such thing as small. I don't think small. There is no such thing as small in cooking no more. <laughs> I mean, if you're used to cooking big, that when you try to cook small, 
it never works because it still look like you cooking bread. Like that one day when you cooked the uh, something for you and daddy. So I'm going to move my glass bowls out the way and wash my hands. Normally I cook my vegetables on camera, but you know, I don't. Some person. Half of the times I don't cut it on camera because it's just basically the same thing. Just dice it up and cut it up. So you won't see me actually cutting up my vegetables half of the time because I just freaking cut it. Because I'm pretty sure everybody know how to cut a bell pepper. I'm pretty sure they do. So you don't have to see me cut that up every single time on camera. Okay, I got my mini corn, so I'm gonna open my baby corn. My baby corn that I'm using. Oh, I love baby corn. For some odd reason, every time we eat um, any kind of type of Chinese food or Asian food, they like the baby corn off in there. Me, I really don't too much care for it. It's like whatever. Is that on? Yes, on my way. Okay, I'll be back after my meat and cook some. Okay, I'm going to add some of my broccoli off in here so it can start steaming it. Oh, you're going to pick the big one. Yeah, I'm going to take the big ones because the big ones going to take a lot longer to cook. So I'm going to get all the huge, huge ones. And then we're going to leave some that's not going to be steamed. I like those ones. Oh, the, the ends? Yeah, I like yeah, the ends. The ends taste good. I like the ends. I, I don't know. I just like our broccoli. Seriously. Besides don't it look like trees? Besides just, yeah. Besides just regular steamed broccoli, it tastes good. It is. Well, they eat that. It's oof. I'm pretty sure. I like it. <laughs> I mean, I really don't like it. It's and nasty. This is how much I'm going to just leave out so it can still be crunchy, too. It's a lot more than before. Yeah. I'm just what I'm gonna basically do is just put the top on and just let it just steam it. That's basically it. And then when I get ready to add this sauce on here, the sauce right here, I'm gonna let it See? be crunchy still. Oh. These still gonna be crunchy a little bit. Oh, okay. So basically, it's just gonna, just gonna steam it just a little. Okay, and we'll be back. Okay, I'm going to take it out so y'all can see it steamed it. Look at that, it's so beautiful. So what I'm gonna do is just add the rest of them up in there and let it steam these. That way you still have a lot of crunchy and you still have, you know, softy. Yeah, they're soft. So I'm just gonna add it out there. And some of these broccoli heads are huge. <laughs> I love broccoli. Okay, so I'm just going to put it back on and let it steam these a little. And we'll be back. Okay, it's been about five minutes or so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this new deal that I was just walking by and I seen. It's me, come to... I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm not gonna lie. But it's sauce for um, beef and broccoli. And look, it's just beef and broccoli. Okay, so I'm just Panda. gonna open it. Oh my god, it smells so good. Oh my god, it actually smells like beef and broccoli. Look at that. Look at that beautiful color. I'm trying to get all over that. And this is like it. 
easy, easy, really, really easy recipe to, you know, to cook. You can cook for one person or you can cook for several people like I'm doing. If you cook it for several people, I recommend you get like two bags of this. Two bags of the sauce. You want to turn the fire down sometimes? Yeah. I'm just going to start mixing this. Right there. <laughs> that was trying to escape. Be free! Oh no. No. We went back into. You know that. who else looks like a broccoli? Oh. This dude. What? He looks like a broccoli. Oh. Cause I no, have really, a green look. shirt. Yes. No. Your head is tiny. Hey, rude! And I'm oh. gonna add the other one. Hi, rude. Do you want to add the noodles after that? Oh, well. Yes, that one goes off in a pretty sparkly pot because it's small. They smell like chocolate. I know, right? Yeah. Do you like those noodles because they're round? I just like, I don't know why I like them, but I like those noodles. I they got that like. certain flavor in it. Sorry yeah. it tastes. I don't know, it just tastes good to me. I just eat whatever. Unless it's something really, I really, really don't like. I would not eat it. You can turn it down for me? Turn it down for me. It's all the way to three. Oh, 300. <laughs> I didn't know there was 300. Oh, look at that. That looks so good. That's a pretty color. Yes, it is. Pretty color on food. Oh, well, they probably can't see it. Well, let's see. Yeah, because you ain't got it on there, so they can see it. No, it's, see it. it's on there. It's just, it. the color makes it light. The flash makes it light. Light. Oh. Yeah, it's a light color brown. They don't see the darkness. Oh, oh my yeah. God, y'all. Yeah, this looks very, very good. Is that yeah, tasteable? Yeah. It's just sauce. Ah. Oh, my God. That's this really tastes good. good. Okay, the, the meat is done. You want to turn that off, Jimmy? Because that's ready. Here. You want to put it, keep warm or turn it off? Turn off. Go the way. So I'm cooking, just cooking the noodles. Hold on, I have difficulties. Okay. Two different kinds? Yeah. Okay. I can't turn my fingers. Look at that one. This one cooks a little bit faster than this one does. Because that one's thicker. This one's like thin. A la lunos. Ooh, look at the bubbles. Oh, dang. <coughs> Let me turn on my shark to pan. Okay, my uh, rice noodles are ready. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just pick it up and drain. Make sure all the water is draining out from the bowl. Cause you don't want the excess water out of the bowl. Okay, I'm just gonna put it down. Turn it off. And I'm just gonna do it again. Just let the excess water drain out. I normally do this off in the drainer, but these are kind of diff difficult to kind of drain the way you want it to drain. Yeah, it definitely smells rice. Yeah, it smells like rice. Well, 
I knew the rice. Mouth. Sounds like it came out of your mouth. Okay, since I got that drained off, I'm just going to come over here. Take it and just scoop some of my meat. My broccoli off of me. So it's gonna look like this. Mommy. Okay, so this is how it looks after I'm finished. Finished with making the out of the rice noodles. Because this is the rice noodles right here. And then I'm gonna show y'all out of the other noodles, the um egg noodles. Okay, so stay tuned for that one. You want to take a picture? Yeah. And I couldn't find a picture. Oh, there it is. Okay, these are ready. So same, same concept. Just let all the water drain off on here. Because you don't want all that excess water. Because then it like make it watery. But we're not making soup. We make it stir fry. Look. Those look like, um, okay, those look like, what is it, spaghettis, and this looks like noodles. I don't look like noodles to me. See, that's the difference between the noodles. Yeah. Like a bell pepper. I know. I might have to do it. Okay, I'm supposed to finish my other plate with the this is the um the egg noodles. The egg noodles, so I'm just gonna add my meat and my broccoli off in there. It looks so beautiful. I want that bowl. <laughs> and then I'm gonna do it for this one too. You need a lot of vegetables. Mm. And there you go. And then just to top it off, I'm just going to add just a little soy sauce. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe at the bottom.